Chapter number seven, steps towards closing. The inspection period is now behind you. Insurance has been approved. You are weeks, maybe days from closing. The banker lender will order an appraisal on the subject property and validate if the contracted number is covered or not. Let's say you're under contract for a property at $500,000 with a conventional loan, 20% down payment, which translates to $100,000. Hence, the banks have approved you for a loan of $400,000 and the appraisal comes at $490,000. In that case, both sides buyer and seller need to negotiate. In my experience, they meet in the middle. Seller comes down to $495,000 and buyer increases, da increases down payment to $105,000. The deal moves forward. Next, you need a lien search to make sure there are no encumbrances on your prop the property you're going to buy. Hence, establishing clean title. This channels through the title company. Uh, land survey also defines the actual boundaries on the property as well as altitude, which determines potential flood, uh, flood insurance if in a flood area. The Alta. The Alta Settlement Statement is an itemized list of all of the fees or charges that the buyer and seller will pay during the settlement portion of a real estate transaction. Everything from the sale, price, loan, loan amount, school taxes, and other pertinent information is contained in this document. Finally, the closing statement shows debits and credits for the buyer and the seller. For example, the seller would be responsible for taxes till the day he owned the property. If the closing date is June 30th, 2022, then the seller would be debited 180, 180 days worth of tax and the buyer would be credited for this amount, given he is responsible for paying property taxes in the 2022 period for his new home. The buyer would also have any additional financing charges on his statement on that document. Closing can be done in person with a mobile notary or a virtual notary. Parties do not have to be on the same table. Generally, the seller will leave everything signed two or three days before. On closing day, the buyer performs a walk through the property to assert the state of the house and that all the appliances are in good condition. This is generally a mere formality, but you don't want to close on a house that had a flood. It's never happened to me, uh, thank God, but it's a must do.